Hey everybody, it's Linda with Stamping School. This week I am playing with these gorgeous papers called Naturally Gilded. They are six sheets, two of each design for $10. They are not in a publication or a catalog. They are only uh, an additional item that Stampin' Up! brought. You can find them in the online store. But this one is gold and vanilla, and this one is silver and white, and this one is copper and white, and I'm gonna show you a project with each of these. Some are very simple because the paper is so darn pretty that really, you don't have to do a lot. It's just gorgeous. So this one with the vanilla, look how pretty it looks with Razzleberry, or even if you save some of it for fall, because we don't know how long this paper is going to last. Could go quickly. Could be there a while. I don't know how much they have. But look at that with the, the rust color. And it's even pretty with a blush. But today I'm going to use it with the Evergreen. And you know, this card is so easy. I don't even need to put it together for you. But I'll just lay my parts and pieces. I cut out two butterflies. These are from the Brilliant Wings that are in the annual catalog. And I cut out two of those. Oh, I lost my little one, here he is. Two butterflies and the sentiment. And I thought, you know, you could add an embellishment down here to kind of ground it if you want to. But you know what, by the time I added the gold cord and a few of these little evergreen embellishments, just kind of put those on the butterfly, I think it's good. I don't know if you need to add anything else. Just the paper does it, just so pretty. So that is the vanilla and gold. And the next one I'm gonna show you is the white and silver. This one, we're gonna do a little bit more too, but not much. It's just so pretty the way it is. So this is white and silver. And I'm gonna put a little blending on it with my brushes in apple green, granny apple green and Bermuda Bay. And right along the bottom, we're gonna do the green. And you know, I always kind of go off a little bit first because I don't want it to be too strong. And then I blend up from the bottom because I don't want any blobs, but these brushes are great. If you don't have these, they're available in the Stampin' Up! store through me, but they're also, um, they're like makeup brushes. You know, if you have a makeup brush you're not using, you can use sponges, but they're really nice. And now they have them in the minis, which is really, really nice. They're even smaller ones for when you want to get into those small spots. So there you go, just a little hint of green on the bottom. Turn it around and we're gonna do the Bermuda Bay down here. I love these two colors together. And you know, Stampin' Up! is gonna be doing a color refresh this year. So when the new annual catalog comes out, we will have figured out what colors are going, what are staying, and they do it about every five years. So I hope they don't take Bermuda Bay because I love it. Okay. Look how pretty. Just a little hint of that. Okay. Because I cannot stand a dirty placemat. Oh. Better. I layered this on a little bit of white because I felt like I liked the way that it popped on the blue card. So here's my Bermuda Bay. So for those of you that were with me last week on my video, you know I was having some lighting trouble. So I'm on my phone this week until I get my camera figured out. So I'm hoping it looks good. Now, oh, the sentiment. Let me show you how to do that. I like using my Stamparatus for this. If you don't have one, a stamping positioner of some kind, I, I just love it. You know, because what's so great is that you can reposition, reposition, you know, and re-stamp a few different times and it's always gonna be perfect. So if you miss a little bit, then, <laughs> you know, you can go back over it again. So green on the bottom and the Bermuda Bay on the top. So watch how easy this is. So that's the green, and I love that we can take this off. It's got the hinges. Blue along the top. I do the darker color last so it doesn't mess that up and put it down. So if I look at this and I think, oh, you know what, it needs to be a little darker. See, I can go back over it again. Just kind of 
little green, a little more green on the bottom, I think. There it is. Now there's a die that will cut this out, which is great, which I don't have in my hand at the moment. So I'm gonna, just gonna cut that out with scissors real quick. And then we can add that right to the card. This is a super easy one. You could just stamp this in a solid color, I suppose and it would still look great. I just, I like that it matches the horizon colors. Right there. So I added a little silver cord right there and one of these cute little dragonflies and then some embellies, little iridescent guys right there. And that's it on that one. Pretty, I'll of course do any colors you want here with the sponging. All right, that's that one. Next. The copper. This is the copper and the white. Now Stampin' Up! had this design on their website. So if you are looking at products online, like if you if you pull up that gilded paper, there's seven pages and you can go through and look at the artwork that they have. And this was very similar to what they had, except I'm going to do a little extra trick on the inside. So we're going to cut this out once and then be able to use the frame on the inside. So I'm starting with balmy blue and I've got a little layer of white. I'm using my deckled rectangles, stitched rectangles would look great also. So this is four by five and a quarter and take another piece of white, basic white, the exact same size and then run that through. So what that'll do is we're gonna cut out this white piece around it and one for the inside. So we can put that right inside the frame. So run that through together. And then you get this right here. So you get this frame and we'll use this for something else on another day. And this will go right on the inside of that for the inside of the card. Isn't that fun? That way you're not wasting any. And that fits perfectly because you cut it from there. And then on the front, this piece, which I already have a dimensional on, which is really sticking. There we go. I couldn't find my silicone pad. So, so I've got some dimensionals, which by the way, I want to show you guys these. I use them all the time now, the foam adhesive sheets. There are, same as our dimensionals, except that they're, they don't have little pieces. They're all one piece. And you get six sheets in there and you could just cut them to whatever size you need. And I'm in love with them so I don't have to pick all those little dimensionals off the back all the time, especially for big things like this. All right. Now you could put this directly on the cardstock, but I like that little bit of white kind of poking through. Let me bring the card over. And this paper, out in the annual catalog, this paper right here, which is still available, a wash and beauty, you probably have some. I just cut these out. Now there are dies that match that. It's in the uh, True Beauty Suite, this guy right here. Or you could stamp them, but any flowers that you have in dies. I just love these soft colors. So I did the soft pink and the blush. Let me show you, here's the blush one. I didn't have to stamp anything except the greeting on this, which I love. That's like super nice. All right, there's a flower. This one, I probably need to cut down a, just a wee bit. Let's shove that up here. And I got some leaves. I already have the dimensionals on the back. Let's put this down here. Isn't it pretty? So easy, so easy. And then my sentiment that just goes right there. So I really like it. And I like that they did the deckled edge along that. And of course, this little trick is fun for the inside. And we'll see you next time. See it, learn it, stamp it.